The overall goal of this protocol is to enable the production of nutritious and probiotic fermented milk and other probiotic fermented foods with the use of a starter culture using very basic equipment and techniques. In East Africa, one gram of a dried bacterial starter culture can be used to convert one liter of pasteurized milk, which has been cooled down to 45 degrees Celsius and transferred to a vacuum flask, into one liter of probiotic drinking yogurt. Afterwards, the yogurt can be used to start the production of 100 liters of probiotic yogurt in milk cans, which equals 400 plastic sachets of 250 milliliters drinking yogurt. This method is a tailor-made innovation for a sustainable improvement of the nutrition and health status of malnourished people in resource poor countries. Because they're people that can be exposed to many environmental risk factors that may cause infectious diseases with serious implications. The main advantage of this technique is that it is easy to apply, highly accessible to everybody, including people in resource poor countries who benefit most from it. Also, the process of fermentation creates a yogurt with added value as compared to milk. One of the implications of this technique extends towards prevention, relief and curation of diarrhea. And that is still a major cause of death among children less than 5 years old. Actually, it's the probiotic Lactobacillus rhamnosus strain present in this starter culture that has shown to be effective against diarrhea in a number of independent clinical trials. The method can be used for the production of a probiotic drink yogurt and also for the production of other uh, types of fermented foods, for example, cereals, vegetable, fruit-based products like